Hey folks, I'm Chris Villillo from Orphan Instruments and today I have a beautiful 1920s era supertone Venetian style mandolin to share with you. Now supertone was a house brand for Sears and Roebuck and they were built by a number of folks, K, Regal and Harmony, all built for supertone. But this particular model was built by Regal. Now these are really surprisingly good little instruments. I've done uh, several complete rebuilds on this particular model and I'm really beginning to enjoy them. The entire top, the tulip head, was a solid chunk of wood that they have sawed out. So it's about oh, three quarters of an inch thick. This is also what serves as the neck block and it really gives the instrument a surprisingly full rich tone. <laughs> even though it's a relatively inexpensive mandolin. Now this particular model is painted black. It has a, the original beautiful decal on the front of it. Back and sides are painted black as well. Now the back and sides are made of birch. The top, interestingly enough, is made of mahogany, even though it's painted. And it's this combination of the warmth of the mahogany in the soundboard and the brightness of the mahogany in the back and sides that gives this mandolin its unique bright, clear, articulate, if you will, tone. I love these little small inexpensive mandolins for rhythm parts in a recording because they're already brighter than a modern mandolin, which means you don't have to EQ them. They sit right in the track the way you want. Now this one has had a full rebuild. Uh, the back was coming off when I got the mandolin. I removed it. All of the back braces were loose. I completely removed, cleaned, and reused them. The top braces were loose on the ends, and I re-glued those ends, and then reinforced the section under the tulip where they usually collapse. I also put popsicle braces just to the side of the sound hole to also add extra strength and stability. Now the instrument is not completely original, but is largely original. The tuning machines are original, as is the fingerboard, which was, by the way, ebonized maple. It is, uh, the frets are original, the mother of toilet seat pick guard, and the tailpiece are original. Now the, uh, the bridge is a Grover ebony and bone replacement bridge. And the nut is a bone nut that appears to have been cut before I got the mandolin. I also believe that the binding on the neck was redone at that point as well. Uh, I did a complete neck reset, a level crown and polish on the frets, and I set it up for low action and easy playability. And it is. It's clean all the way up the neck. No buzzing. And that mistake was me, not the mandolin. Um, and it's just a gorgeous sounding instrument. Let me demonstrate a little flat picking on this with an old Norman Blake tune called The New Brick Road. Now you can learn about all the instruments I work on at orphaninstruments.com and see the ones that are currently for sale both at that website or at reverb.com on the Orphan Instruments page. So we'll see you down the road.